Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to make uh, lower thirds in Adobe After Effects. It's going to be a pretty simple tutorial so it'll be easy to follow along. This was the most requested video that I've gotten like ever so I'm uh, sorry for the delay. Sorry for the inactivity on this channel. I went on a three day trip uh, to Toronto so that's the reason why but let's just get into the video. Okay, so before I get started, I wanted to say that the layout of my After Effects is a bit different than yours probably because it is a custom workspace. Um, it shouldn't matter a lot because I usually won't even use uh, most of these menus in this tutorial, but just take that in mind. Also, it might be a little bit laggy when I preview everything because uh, my computer can't really handle it uh, well. You know, After Effects is a heavy program, so you may see some lagginess in this video. But yeah, other than those two things, it's a very easy tutorial to follow with. It should only take you about like 30 minutes max. Um, it does take a little bit of understanding because there's a lot of uh, shortcuts and stuff. A lot of commands that come with Adobe After Effects, I'm still learning. Um, it's not like I know everything about it. So the first thing you want to do is press composition and new composition. Type in, you know, whatever you want. So I'll do lower thirds tutorial and then make the duration however long you want the actual lower third to be, so I'll do 10. So the first thing you wanna do is make a slash. Um, I'm making a slash because it just looks cooler, uh, but here you can do fill. So use the pencil, press fill, make it white or whatever color, doesn't matter, and make the stroke nothing. So to make the stroke nothing, you wanna press on the actual like text, not the box, and then press on this option right here. So now I'm just gonna press here, just make a slash, no, nothing special, something like that. And I want like these two to match up, so I'll just move this down here. And move this a little bit down so something like that should work um it looks you know pretty basic um that shouldn't take too long and then what my plans are is to make this right here move to this left side while fading in and it kind of looks cool so basically it transitions from here to here uh, you won't be able to see it fully here it'll kind of like fade in like i said and i just like that transition it's gonna be really simple and then next after that the text is gonna come out it's gonna see like twitter and stuff you can do an icon i won't be using an icon because it doesn't look good using this in my opinion but whatever so the first thing you want to do is press p on the layer and so this will show the position you want to go to around two frames and then press on this time watch thing and then you want to hold shift and press the left arrow to move it so it's on the left side now and then go back to zero and move it back again. Um, I kind of wasted time there. I could have just you know, done whatever, but here, let's just start here. So now it moves left to right. It might be a little bit laggy, like I said before, uh, but you can, you know, get what I'm saying here. So to make it smoother, what you can do is go onto this frame and then keyframe assistant, ease in and then ease out. It kind of confuses me every time because at the beginning, usually I would think like ease in but it's the opposite, so it's ease out, so it makes it smoother. And to make it a little bit different, so like a slow to fast transition, or, or I believe a fast to slow transition, you want to highlight these both, go to the graph editor, select here, and just move it to the middle on both sides. So hopefully it loads here, like it like isn't laggy, but you should see what I'm talking about. If you can see what I'm saying, uh, hopefully it isn't laggy once again. I, I should really get a new computer, but uh, just, I'm playing as many times as you guys can grasp what I'm saying. Uh, next thing you want to do is if you want it to fade like while it's going like to the left side, um, it's basically the same thing. You want to press T instead uh, to show opacity. You want to go to like before it's um, going to appear on the left side here. You want to press on this. So right there, the opacity is 100. You want to set that as actually zero. And then when it ends, you want it to be 100. So something like that. So right here, it should be 100. So right there, if you go, it should fade in. So once again, you can do easy uh, ease out and ease in. You can also use the graph editor. Um, it really depends if you like that transition, that slow to fast transition. Um, I don't think there's a need to do this because it's opacity and it isn't like movement, uh, but I'm just doing it just in case. So once again, you can actually move this closer to make the transition faster. I'll move it like this entire thing right to left if you want it to appear later. That's pretty cool. And so now you want to add the text. So the text is pretty simple. It's a little bit different. It may be confusing, so pay attention right now. 
So I'm just gonna type in Twitter, really simple, right? And then press Control D to duplicate it, and then now you can add another one. You can also add an icon if you want to. It's the same process, but here. Just change it to next to bold, and just highlight these both. Just move it there. So right now you can see if you play it, the text doesn't move. You don't want that, okay? So what you want to do instead is make a shape. So you want to make it right here, just make a shape. And then you want to duplicate it, so Control D. Now what you want to do is move the shape on top of each text. So there's going to be two shapes on top of two texts. So you can see right here. The next thing you want to do is go under Trick Mat. If you don't see that, you're not uh, toggling on the switches and modes, you can just press right here. You want to go on to the first text right here and then select Alpha Inverted Mat uh, Shape Layer 3. That depends which shapes on top. And then you want to do the same thing for this one as well. What this means, the inverted thing, is that the text will only appear when, I guess, the black is shown or the white layer is shown. I'm not sure uh, specifically if I worded that right, but I'll show you what to do next. So after this stops moving right here, you want to select on these two text layers. Or before that, you want to actually just move them, uh, hold shift and then go left so that they're hidden first, obviously. And then when it's done right here, now you want to move them to the right. So actually, I believe you had to press P first and then press these position thingies. And then right there, you want to now move it back. Oh, my bad. So you just want to press position. So now if you press play here, that's a bit off. You can see right there. It's a bit off. I think it goes too early. Yeah, it goes way too early. So just move this to the beginning here. So let's just move this further. Yeah, something like that is better. And to make it like the transition longer, you just want to move this further out. And also you want to move one a bit, you know, later than the other. So it looks a little bit cooler. So if you can see that right there, it just, you know, kind of, you know, slides in. And then once again, you want to select these two and then easy ease out easy ease in select all of them and use the graph editor now and just want to move this to that that to that and now it should look pretty cool so i'm gonna keep playing it um and then you guys can see how it looks like So the last step you actually want to take is to make the background green. So the reason you want to make it green is if you ever heard of green screens, you can basically replace the green screen with like any image or anything. But in this case, you want to remove the green screen so that only this is showing. Because obviously if you export this and add it into your video editor, there will be a black background and you won't be able to see anything. So you can easily do that. Press Q, um, select fill and then just make it green and then just put it down here just move it at the end now you can see that and now you want to export it so export add to render queue select it and then render it wherever you want to so and i'll show you how to remove the green background it depends on what video editor you have but usually all video editors that are like pretty decent have an option to remove a green screen okay so right here i have the lower third and on uh, premiere pro the extension or like the plugin is called ultra key i know it's possible on other video editors just search it up how to remove a green screen but here you just drag it on you press on here and just select the key color and now the background is removed and now you can play it so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video if it did help you out hit that thumbs up button if we reach 500 likes i'll be releasing the template for this it's very simple uh but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed my name is steven and i'll see you in the next one